I think the real lesson we learned about this movie is about the friends we made along the way. Hey, what's up guys? Today I am reviewing Godzilla vs. Kong. This is going to be a pretty short review. This movie's kind of eight brain kind of content. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. The main reason why you're probably watching this movie is for the Godzilla vs. Kong fight. And honestly, they're they're pretty solid. I really liked them. They were really fun. You know, they you can clearly tell these two titans have different abilities and they have different skill levels and they clearly show this in this movie and I think it worked really well. The first fight, this isn't, and this will review a whole no spoiler. And the first fight you see is on the boat uh, and it really shows that like Godzilla, his A game is in underwater, you know, he can swim better. Uh, Kong, he's just a big old apey boy so you know he can't swim or anything. Uh, not as well as Godzilla at least and I think it showed that fight really well and in, in, in their levels in their stances of power when it comes to their surroundings. And then later on the fights you'll see above land and that is kind of like Kong's A game you know that's where he's really able to take down Godzilla much better than Godzilla would take him down in underwater. Um, the A plot in this movie is fine the A plot in this movie is really just like we have to follow Kong and take him places and find out what's going on with the Titans and the B plot not compelling. The B-plot is with Millie Bobby Brown uh, and two other characters. Uh, I think one of them is the uh, the kid from Deadpool 2 and the other, I really don't know this other actor. Uh, so basically you follow these two. You follow a podcaster and two high school students. It's boring. <laughs> I mean, it's not the most boring thing in the world. I could sit through it and I, I wasn't yawning or checking the time, but I definitely wasn't interested in it. It's not compelling. These characters aren't compelling. Also, I haven't seen Godzilla King of Monsters. I know Millie Bobby Brown's in that movie. I'm not sure if the kid from Deadpool's in that movie. I don't think the podcaster is too. I don't remember their names. Uh, so it really shows how much I really don't care about this B plot or even the A plot. I don't really remember any of the characters' names now that I really think about it. And I just watched the movie. HBO Max is right there. Uh, <laughs> these characters, you don't connect with them. And I get, you know, that's not the point of the movie. Set your expectations low. Or not, no, I'm not saying set your expect. Set your expectations to know what you're about to watch. You're about to watch. Set your expectations what you want to watch. You want to see Godzilla vs. Kong fight. It's about it. That's what you're getting in this movie. And the fights are great, and that really makes the movie stand out. But all the other stuff kind of brings it down. The A plot is fine. I. I was invested in the A-plot, it kept me entertained. The B-plot, it's not the casino in Last Jedi, but it's still, it's like you don't care really for these characters or for this plot that is going on. So I just, I don't really think, it's not gonna bog down the movie terribly for you, but it can get a little bit boring. But overall, with the movie keeping me interested, it kept me interested. That B-plot is just a little boring and really uncompelling. Especially when you compare it to, really, you, you just want to see Godzilla versus Kong. You want to see the fight. That's mainly what it is, and the fights are done really well. There's a bit more to this movie. Um, I guess I, I guess I could do a spoiler section. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but the spoilers, they're really light. They're nothing that really giantly impacts this movie. There's nothing uh, groundbreaking about this movie. It's just you want to see this fight. You want to be entertained. This is popcorn entertainment. This is a brain form of entertainment you're gonna get what you're paying for. And even if you're not paying for it, I mean, you're getting it on HBO Max for free, but you know, you get the subscription. And it's, you know, I'm happy I watched this movie for free. I'm happy I watched this movie chilling in my dorm. I think this movie would be a lot better if I watched it in theaters. You know, acting wise, I think the actors did a fine job, you know. They didn't really feel like they phoned it in. The movie tries to do some humor. I left out one joke, it was at the very end. Uh, I thought it was a pretty decent joke, but the rest of them, you shouldn't expect anything big from this movie. You're not going into this being to be mind blown about some methodical psychological movie. You know, you know what you're going in for. So I guess you know, there's nothing, there's nothing too big in this movie except for really fun fights, and it keeps you entertained and it's good popcorn fun. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie a seven out of ten just because I got what I wanted. I want to see some fun fights. I wanted to see who this, who the writer thought was gonna be the winner. Wasn't expecting anything huge in this movie, and I was correct. There's nothing really gigantic in this movie. Just a lot of dumb fun you're watching. Uh, just a popcorn flick. Nothing groundbreaking. If you know what you're going for in this movie, you're going to get exactly what you want. Overall, I had a fun time watching this movie, and I think I'd recommend if you really like these monsters or if you want to see some cool monster fights. We're going to get into spoilers real quick. There's not a lot to talk about in spoilers, so... And there's not giant spoilers either, so you can stay if you want, but... Spoiler territory. Three, two, one... So in this movie, it's revealed that the humans are making Mechagodzilla. Uh, 
And yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool to see Mega Godzilla fight amongst the the two. And uh, I think the best thing about this movie is obviously the best thing about this movie is the fights. And I'm really happy that Godzilla came out on top really in the end. I know it's like oh. You, Who's who's the winner? Who's who? You know, it's probably King Kong. It's probably Kong. But no, I I, I liked how I really liked how Godzilla came out on top. You know, it showed because Godzilla's much stronger and faster. He's got atomic breath. You know, he's just a he's just a radiation lizard. So I I really enjoyed it, and that's who I was kind of rooting for. So but I I, I like the reveal of Mecha Godzilla. I kind of speculated because you see a very glimpse of him in the trailer. So I was I was expecting it, and it was really fun watching Mecha Godzilla kind of kick Godzilla's ass. And then obviously Kong, you know, he got the stupid. That was dumb. When Godzilla beat Kong, and the humans sh charge up their pod to wake up Kong. Yeah, okay. Suspend all disbelief in this movie. Uh, I thought that was I, Godzilla come or Kong coming back and kicking Mecha Godzilla's ass was pretty was pretty fun to watch. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I also like how Ghidorah's brain is its ner ner like nervous system is f fueling and telling Mechagodzilla what to do. I just thought that was a really neat idea and I thought in this movie about, in this in this universe about giant monster titans, it made sense in that sort of sense. I really liked when the humans were going into that like underworld area, I forget what it's called, it kind of reminded me of 2001 Space Odyssey and also if you have epilepsy, don't watch this movie. It's very flashy in certain sequences. Uh, very flashy when they're going into the underworld. It was really interesting watching that happen. It was super cool. I really dug it. Visually, it was probably my favorite part of the movie. There's no CGI that looks bad in this movie. Overall, looks pretty great, surprisingly. Also, uh, props to have the final fight in daylight. Yeah, that's very hard to do, and it looked pretty okay to me, so props to the studio for doing it. Props to whoever made that decision. Overall, there's not too much to talk about this movie, uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and end the review right here, but I had a fun time watching that, and if you have HBO Max or if you have cinemas open near you, damn you. I wish. I wish cinemas were open near me, but if you have that luxury, I mean, go out and watch it. It's a dumb, fun movie. Know what you're going in for. Don't expect anything amazing, and if you expect dumb fun, I think you'll have... I think you might, I think, I hope you enjoy this movie like I did. Uh, overall, yep, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10, just a, just a standard movie, nothing groundbreaking, and I had a fun time watching it. Anywho, if you love watching my terrible lighting quick setup so my roommate doesn't come back while I'm recording, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, and let me know down below if you've seen Godzilla vs. Kong, and let me know what you think about it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.